Jack, 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 Welcome to day two of Glasgow Gold, a day that I'm labelling the greatest day two in the history of the Commonwealth Games. We know yesterday they called it Glasgow, but I can tell you this one was even better. And the reason it was even better, Rob, Robbo, is the fact that when I was growing up in the streets of Bathurst, every weekend there were kids that were rolling out stones, half-eaten tennis balls at the end of the day because none other, they were very inspired by none other than... Kelvin Kirko, I think, is the man you're referring to. And, uh, Mossy, we had the pleasure of meeting Kelvin Kirko for the first time. Look, I didn't even know he was in the country. Uh, and if you've not heard of him, go onto Google. You can hit pause right now. Go and Google him. He's a legend of the sport of lawn bowls in Australia, uh, a stalwart, and he's actually coaching the Australian Com Games team here in Glasgow. And, Mossy, we got called upon by Kelvin to uh, give the bowls team, the Jackaroos, uh, a little leg up. And, uh, mate, it was a great great honour to be there. Absolutely. It was a sensational part of my life. I, I don't think it can be actually topped by this. And we've, got, we've still got about nine days left of play. Um, now, our roving reporter, Josh Cal Callanan, was out there. We uh, gave him a beer, put him in the corner of a pub, and he gave a little report on the action of the day. Well, it doesn't get any better than that. You couldn't write the script better to the T. Australia v. the old enemy, England. Lawn bowls on a Friday afternoon, on a sunny Glasgow afternoon, but wait, there's more. Not only did it come down to the final end, it came down to the final bowl. And who was it that delivered? None other than the flapper himself. There it was, Australia two up against the old enemy on Scottish soil, and we were right there to witness, witness it, the Jack, Jack, Jacker, Roos. That's not gold, that's Glasgow gold. Back to you, boys. Yes, thanks very much, Cal. And Robbo, we had a chance to catch up with the winning triples there for Australia after the match. Yeah, it was a real thrill. Let's check it out. Hello, well, here we are at Kelvin Grove, and uh, the men's triples have just taken down the Poms. We've got the Roo, we've got the Lurch, and we've got the Flap. And boys, you must be on top of the world. Yeah, no, very happy to get away with that one and uh, move on to the next one. And your support has been fantastic, boys. Terrific. Yeah, you guys came to the Glasgow Com Games with two jobs. One was to win gold, the other was to meet Mossy and Robbo. You've ticked one of them off. <laughs> Mate, that, that's got to be the highlight. The opportunity wasn't bad, but meeting you two was just on the highlight of everything, guys. Brilliant. Yeah, flap tell you, mate, the last couple of bowls there, it was all down to the wire. You know, the palms have been going really well, mate. What was in the back of your mind? Was it my voice or was it um, just the, what was about to happen? I'll be honest, mate, I'll shit myself. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it was all good. Um, <laughs> legs are clean, son. <laughs> no, we, um, we just had to get that last end and, and make sure we, we finished off what was a pretty good game from, from us. Um, it was a tight battle there at one stage, but uh, lucky enough we got got the result. Boys, uh, you've captured the hearts and minds of all the Aussies out here watching and I'm sure back home as well and we look forward to cheering you on all the way to Glasgow Gold. Just got a quick one, uh, Friday afternoon we're at the Bowls Club, when did the meat raffle start? Uh, we're at the meat raffle, yeah, we're at the beers. Yeah, <laughs> now the story of the day Robbo was not the fact that uh, the boys got up, the, probably the biggest story was the fact that uh, the green hands were not on display and for those that are at home and they don't know what we're talking about, all these volunteers uh, guide you from the trains along the pathway with these green hands and you'll see one just up on the screen right now and if you don't have one which we found today you can find yourself in, in pretty much in no man's land Rombo. Yeah look the the journey to the hockey yesterday it was dead easy we knew where we were going we had green hands probably every five meters I thought it was probably a little bit of overkill but it uh, I was proven wrong today when I saw they didn't have any we were stuck. Absolutely. It was a long way from the train station out to Kelvin Kirko Grove, uh, but we were able to uh, potentially get there, and uh, let's just take a look at that now. Robo, what's going on, mate? Uh, we're off to the bowls today, Australia's national sport. Which way are you going? We're going this way, but I need a big blue or green hand to tell me where to go. Do you know the way to Kelvin Grove? <laughs> so once again, we're at a corner. There's no big green hand. Could get lost on the way to the bowls. Oh, we're here. So here we are, finally. We're almost at the venue and we find our first green hand. Uh, it's taken a little while. We've got lost. We've been walking around in circles. So can I ask you, where do we go? You go over that bridge, 
All of a sudden it's all so clear when you've got the green hand, everything is a joy, the directions are easy. That's what they're telling me. I used to live in Melbourne. She lived ah. in Melbourne, can you believe it? <laughs> That's the green way? hand capital of the, of the world. Which way to Melbourne? Ooh. Hi, I'm Kelvin Kirko, and here I am with Mossy and Robbo's Glasgow Gold. Yes. Thanks very much, Kelvin. Now, gold medals, Robbo. We want to hear the Glasgow Gold tally. Yes, well, Mossy, I can tell you today we've got six more golds, uh, Aussie Gold, Aussie Glasgow Gold, and that means only one thing. We've got to top up uh, the pot of gold, as you can see here, and uh, the hyphen. We had a lot of success in the pool in the hyphen. Tom Fraser Holmes. He hails from where we're from, in Newcastle. Gold medal, 200 metres freestyle. Uh, also in the pool, Maddie Elliott, another hunter athlete. She also took out the 100 metres freestyle. Uh, Leaston Pickett, 50 metres breaststroke. And uh, also the men's 4x100 freestyle team. Uh, they secured the gold as well. Jack Bobridge, 4,000 metres individual pursuit. And finally, Mossy, Laura Coles, women's ski in the shooting. So that's uh, shot us up the, the medal tally, as you can see here. England still top. Uh, with 12 gold, 11 silver, 9 bronze. Australia, 11 gold. Scotland, 7 gold. And uh, if you can remember from yesterday, Scotch Scotchralia, let's see how they're going. Well, uh, I can tell you that they are now taking out the English. We've got 18 to 12. And it looks like our alliance is paying off and we're keeping those English at bay. It has been a good response, Mossy. There's even been a, a call for a flag. And as we can see here, uh, it looks pretty nice. I think the uh, the Northern Cross meeting the Southern Cross, as it's been said. So uh, I think it's got legs. And I can tell you on the streets of Glasgow, it has been a real hit. Uh, the synergy that would come with uh, Scotch Railia uh, being very, very successful. Now, uh, here in Scotland, uh, it is the home of the Redheads. Uh, and a, a regular segment is the Ginger Games. Uh, today, I had a chance to catch up with Jersey lawn bowlers from the fours and this was sue and we had a little bit of a chat just after the game now what they say is that uh, you can only tell a, uh, a true uh, ginger by uh, you know looking down there you, is, is that, <laughs> I don't is that true? <laughs> i don't know cause are, are we going to get a test right here no i don't know because mine's out of the bottle <laughs> well it wouldn't be an episode of glasgow goal without getting a little bit of an insight by Craig Burns, and this one's called Word with Burns. Fair the wheel, though first and fairest. Fair the wheel, though best and dearest. Thine be ilka joy and treasure, peace, enjoyment, love and pleasure. Thanks, Craig. Well, that closes the door on yet another episode, Robbo, here of <coughs> Glasgow Goal. We've got a huge couple of days ahead of us. We do, yes, and tomorrow it all kicks off. We're out to the rugby at Ibrox Stadium, home of Glasgow Rangers. Of course you would. It's sun a Saturday, so Saturday footy. Get up early. We've got the Rugby Sevens and Australia taking part. Traditional uh, rivals, I think they've got Uganda, uh, and there's a host of other games on as well. So we can't wait to sink our teeth into the Rugby Sevens. I expect the coaching staff will probably want to use us in some capacity, as we have been used in the hockey and the lawn bowl. So I can't wait. Well, let's close things up tonight, Robbo, by going out to the new Lawn Bowls anthem, the Jackaroos. Jack, 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 Jackaroos.